My name is Marcus Wyeth and this video is brought to you by the Cape Town Music Academy. So are you an entertainer or are you an artist? Um, or are you both? Or why are you not both? Um, yeah, this is something that I guess a lot of people think about. Um, there are those musicians who um, happily declare that they are simply entertainers and, and that their, their primary focus is making sure that the audience is well entertained and that they would always come back for more um, and that it's very important to them to keep the audience engaged um, and I guess there are people on the other side of the coin who see themselves more as artists um, and that the very notion that they might be entertainers um, somehow cheapens what it is that they do um, now yeah I guess I don't I don't really buy into either of those sides of things because I think you can be both um, at the same time I always found that for me what was the most entertaining um, thing to witness or like if I go to a show for instance um, or a music a concert um, what I've always what I've always enjoyed the most um, and gotten the most out of is when is when you see musicians on stage who are just completely at ease and they are themselves they allow their their personalities to come through um, as if they were sitting in their own living room talking to good friends um, Diane Reeves comes to mind she's uh, amazing in that respect the American singer she you know I, I just felt like I was instantly transformed to in, onto a couch in her in her lounge um, and um, the whole audience felt that way and and as soon as the, that that atmosphere is created then um, everyone's relaxed and and uh, much more receptive to to what is going on and what is the message that is being delivered or the music that is being presented. Um, the great Brazilian composer Alberto Gismonti, um, the same thing. Um, I'd never seen him live before uh, a couple of years ago and you know I thought he might be someone that takes himself quite seriously. Um, he writes incredible um, super deep music and, and I was I was very pleasantly surprised to see how he interacted with the audience and he had a sense of humor and he wasn't afraid to show that. Um, I sometimes feel like, you know, sometimes people um, have the impression that if they um, make a joke or if they seem to be laughing um, on stage with the other musicians, that somehow they won't be taken as seriously. Um, I don't really think that that's the case or that anyone has to think that way. Um, what we do is is in, in music is is magical and joyful, and I think it's um, it's important to express that to an audience and um, to allow the audience to to feel that. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to get at is that um, how how you would try to marry these two things um, is simply by um, being yourself on stage. I do understand that it's a nerve-wracking experience. Um, I remember the first few times that I had to stand on the stage uh, leading one of my first projects. Um, I was super nervous and I, you know, I, I wondered what to say and would the audience be engaged, would they be bored, would they hate what I was saying. Um, so many things that go through your mind at that point. Um, so that's perfectly understandable and natural. Um, but I guess you should, you know, instead of trying to maybe emulate someone that you look up to, um, you should you should just try and aim to to be as relaxed as possible and allow your own personality to come out. Um, I mean, if you're a naturally um, witty person um, in in your everyday life, um, then don't be afraid to to just let that hang out, as it were, on stage. Um, it's you, there's not you don't have to present a certain face or a certain front um, I think what's important to the audience is to see that you are relaxed um, and that you're comfortable uh, because the minute that you are comfortable and that the musicians on stage are comfortable then the audience will immediately be at ease and they will be a lot more receptive um, to what it is that you do so yeah um, I hope that helps um, and to end with I guess just to be okay with the idea that um, you can be both an artist and an entertainer um, whichever way you see it um, and that entertainment is art and art is entertainment um, 
well maybe not always but um, certainly uh, more often in the jazz world that we're in all right thank you bye <laughs> Ice of Benzin